All right, Cole, bring the rope to the other side. All right. Ready. All right, we're gonna need some meat for right there. All right, Cole, let's test it. All right, put your foot in it. All right, ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. It works. Sweet. So you may be wondering what we're doing. We're here. We seem to have a problem with monsters during Halloween. So this year, we're taking action. Yeah, we're setting up traps for monsters today. And it seems like every year, we're unprepared. And this year, it's gonna be different. This year, we're bringing the fight to the monsters. That's right, we're gonna hunt the monsters this year. And we also got traps and we got our blasters ready and we'll show you what's going on. So we're setting up our traps and we're gonna show you how to set them up just in case you have your very own problem. Halloween monsters are a huge problem. We got traps set up. We're gonna have friends helping us. We're gonna have, we're gonna go straight to where the monsters live. Yeah, they won't expect that. That's why we're doing it. All right, let's go. We'll show you what we got going on. So, X-Shot sends these like outstanding blasters that'll really do the job good. perfectly. I customized mine a little bit. Sneak attack squad. You got all this. I think you're gonna need a bigger blaster than that. Don't worry, I have some surprises. All right, check out what these are great. First up, they have no magazine. You load the blaster from the back, right here, and you're ready to go. We'll show you. All right, time to test its accuracy. There's a gray water cup over there. I'm gonna try and knock it over. Let's see what we can do. Line it up. Drop that in Oh, close. This one's a little too high. Yeah, all right, you try. See if you can do any better. Oh, but it'll beat you. That didn't even make sense, whatever. That was a little too low. Let me try again. Close. All right, we'll calibrate these later. We'll show you what else we're working on. Okay guys, this may be the most important thing to trap monsters with. Right here, Fishing wire. It has so many uses. For instance, here's one thing we're setting up. All you need is fishing line, a cat toy, and an RC car. Since we don't know what monsters we're battling this year, we gotta draw them out. So we can have a clear view of what creature has invaded our house. For this trap, you can use anything that makes noise and is light. So what you do is you get fishing line and tie it to the noisemaker. Just like this. All right, next, you're gonna wanna tie it to the RC car. All right, let's see if I can get this tied up. And there's a little so hole. Sure up the little hole right there. So this thing is pretty much to make noise and the monster will hear it and it'll chase after it. Watch. And then you'll see what it is. A flying mouse. Why are you running now? That's what it is. Oh look, we got a monster! Hey, we got a monster! See, it works perfectly. All right, first you gotta get a partner to hide. Bye, see you later. See ya. All right, next, you gotta hide yourself. Next, you wanna drive the RC car, and that thing is gonna make a noise. It'll attract the monster, watch. Now, you just say, blast it! And that is one trap. But what if the monster sees you before you see it? We have safety precautions for that. Let me show you one of them. There are certain monsters that'll come after you or see you first. Yeah. One of the most best safety precautions there are, er, there are, are tinfoil hats. Why do we wear tinfoil hats? Certain monsters will look into your mind and read all your plans so, this will protect all your ideas and your plans. All right, this is how you make it. Cole, you'll be my test subject. Uh, I'm like, how do I? Are you good at? No, 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 I'm not. Yours isn't that good. Another really great method is the hood. Like a, like a, like a hood method. You gotta mold it to your head, so that way certain creatures can't read your ideas, read your plans. All right, 
Well, we're saying on the next track, we're gonna do comment of the week. Jeremy, when are you gonna make a mummy video? Actually, we may be making a mummy video this month. Yeah, we have no idea what monsters are gonna come for us this Halloween. Picture of the week comes from Juan. Juan's from right here where we live in Arizona. He's got a nice arsenal. He probably will have to help us this month. For sure. Thanks for a picture, Juan. We might be calling on you soon. All right, here's the next one. The Bluetooth camera. We have these things set up everywhere in the house. So if a monster comes, we can see it right on our phone. It's perfect if you guys can use these. You can see them on your phone, whatever time, anywhere you are, it's perfect to catch monsters. So we've pretty much got everything set up. What can you guys think of? Let us know in the comments, but I think we're pretty much all ready to go. Well, the cameras are on right now. Every Friday in October, leading up to Halloween, we're gonna show you what footage we catch, what we catch, what we find, who we see, what we see, everything. What kind of monsters do you think are gonna come after us? Hopefully not any. Not very many, no. Yeah. If you guys have any trap suggestions, nerf flash suggestions, just let us know all in the comments. Oh wait, I have one more thing. Here it is. Oh, I know what that's for. I have a feeling we'll be needing this. Yeah, it's probably better that we have that. So, we gotta go. We're gonna let you know what we find this week, what happens. We'll see it all on Friday, and uh, I think it's best that we get going. I'm just a little nervous. See ya. Bye.